Hello there, Sagittarius. This is going to be your August 20th, 22 reading. Let's see what's happening in August for you guys. What's coming up? Let's see. We have oh, the Six of Coins. The Two of Coins. And the Six of Wands. And the bottom we have the Page of Swords. Okay, so... There's something someone's trying to balance out. Maybe they're trying to balance out something with you. I think they want to have more of an even give and take in a situation. And they want victory here. Some, or someone's getting recognized for doing something. Someone might be getting re recognized for being very good at balancing things out or working things out or something to that extent. We do have the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. And you're not seeing this, but this person might be watching you, might be checking you out on social media or asking your friends about you, or maybe go driving by your house where you work. They might be very curious about you. Okay. They also might be sending other people around checking on you to see. Getting, gathering information is what I'm getting from this person. And so um, we have here a monkey. Okay, if that makes sense to anybody, we got a monkey. It's like playing around, I think, or getting into a little bit of trouble. Uh, monkeys, they don't stay put, do they? So, um, I'm almost seeing that. <coughs> Sorry, got to take home. Okay, let's see. Let's clarify. Mm. Six coins. I don't know where that tickle came from, but it might be that monkey. <laughs> let's see. We have, ooh, yeah, this is going to come in fast communication projects but it's going to be very balanced okay what about this two of coins wow so this two of coins someone's trying to figure out i think someone's trying to figure out how to get into a long-term commitment with you they're wanting things balanced they want to talk to you they um also might be that you're you're trying to balance your finances and it's going to work out because you're coming into a lot of money here with the ten of coins what about the um Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? Let's see why we have the Six of Wands. Judgment. Okay, so some kind of judgment is going to come in your favor. And you're going to be victorious in whatever this is. Some kind of decision, some kind of judgment. At the bottom, we have the King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be a boss. This could be your boss. This could be someone that's very financially stable. Um, someone that you can depend on. You get a charm for this person, even though this is the bottom of the deck. I won't remember to do them again. So, oh, we got this. We have an open heart here with like a nurse's cap. So this could be a caregiver, your caregiver, their caregiver, or it could just be that someone is very caring and nurturing. Okay. Now let's see. What else do we have here for Sagittarius? What else? We have the Four of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Two of Wands. Yes, yeah, someone's looking to make an offer towards you. You're not sure if you're going to take it. This person actually looks kind of bored. I don't know about this. And then you have the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. Someone really wants a commitment with you. This also could have something to do with uh, like a higher education or institution or um, someone that is very conservative we do have here a two of wands someone needs to make a decision and when I look at this card it's like if there's something with the future and the past someone's picking someone from the past but on the deck we'll have ten of cups a lot of happiness coming in for you guys you're gonna be really experiencing a lot of happiness like the nine of cups with the ace of cups so ultimate happiness coming in okay now let's clarify this four of cups why is the Four of Cups here for Sagittarius? Let's see. The Star. Okay. So you might be dealing with Aquarius, or this could just be that something, someone wants to make you an offer, but may their, your, their wish, their dreams, their hopes, hopes, their wishes, dreams come true. But also, are you out of their league? Are you, um, it's like this is a wish beyond wishes or something. This person really wants to be with you, but they're not sure if you're going to accept this offer. And it would make them extremely happy if you did. 
Okay, what about this Hierophant? Yeah, to work together here. Now, this could be a work situation. Like I said, this could be like higher education. This could be um, some kind of, I don't know, like a corporation or something like that, working together. Or it could be the fact that this person really wants to give in. I mean, they didn't give to you before in the past, and they want to work on that. They want to be a team. They want to be in a commitment. You have here this balancing things out, trying to work together here. You have the ten of coins which is commitment and then you have the hierophant that which is commitment this person is serious this person seriously wants a long-term commitment okay what about the two of one so this would mean picking someone from your past so you might get first oh they're coming back okay this came flying out okay someone's taking a little rest a breather you might be taking a time out to really think about this uh, you're not sure uh could maybe they hurt you in the past the three of swords is hanging over this knight's head so it could have been a third party situation it could have been something that they just did or, or that was um, very upsetting to you and it broke you guys up it, a third party doesn't have to be someone cheating on the other it could be any kind of interference from outside the relationship which means someone could have been always working there could have been a distance between you could have been, someone could have been addicted to something some someone's family could have entered or your you know either family could have broke you guys apart started trouble friends co-workers it could be anything okay and now we have the king of swords on the bottom so this you might be dealing with the king of swords this might be your energy at this time um so let me get another charm uh, aquarius libra gemini i'm not gonna pull the words on these but i will just um oh look at this look at the match set for a lot of happiness being together leaping for joy maybe going in the water a lot maybe you guys swim together um but there's something with the dolphins here. They mate for life, too. They get, they're really close. And this person feels that way about you. They want to speak their truth. They want you to understand. Something, there's some, I feel like there's some kind of confusion. Whatever happened broke you guys up. So it's not the truth. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Wow, the Nine of Cups. The High Priestess. Oh, and the Lovers. Nice. And we have the Emperor here. Okay, so either this is your energy, that you're very in charge, or you might be in charge of a lot of people. You have a, a um, very important position here of authority. This is also someone that wants to take control. You can be dealing with the Aries. This could be either your energy or someone else's. Okay, and now, with the Nine of Cups here, this is like ultimate happiness. Wishes and dreams come true right under the star. This is a minor arcana of the happiness. Wishes come true. And this is a major arcana of the same uh, thing, but just even more intense. And also, this is, you know, this is the major arcana. We have no control of it. This is like the universe. This, this is us. We can control this more. But this is... Someone's looking for this, though, this star, everything. Um, the High Priestess, Virgo Cancer Energy. This is, you guys might be, either you're, you're very intuitive, or your person's very intuitive, and there's a very deep connection. I think there's a very spiritual connection. There's also a very, like, soulmate connection. You got the Lovers here. Lovers is also choice. It's Gemini Energy. <clears throat> but you need to make a decision. I mean, before the, the Lovers was first um, called the Choice Card. So yeah, there's there might be a choice to be made. Let's see, what about this nine of cups? Why is the nine of cups here? Wow, here we come back again. Their dream is to have things balanced between you, to have things being equal. It wasn't equal before. We started out with that, and they still that's their focus. That's their main focus. It will make them so happy to be able to give to the situation because they didn't in the past. They probably break from you, and they they feel very guilty about it. What about this high priestess? <clears throat> oh, we have the knight of swords in reverse. They want to come to you quickly. Maybe something's holding them back. Maybe they don't know something because there's something. The high priestess, there's something, there's a secret, there's a mystery. So I think they, they're afraid to come forward because they don't know something. Get a charm. This will be the only one I'll be pulling the word on because this card is on the table here. Oh, a bat. 
see right off the bat <laughs> no pun intended um the thing that comes to me with the bat is that i read up on them a little bit and they they're very cuddly they like to they like to cuddle this person might like to cuddle they like to be close I mean, this is a different bat. I have these charms. There's lots. I've been using them for a while now. I keep on seeing new ones because this is not the same bat. This is a different bat. Okay. So, this also could be, um, I don't know why I'm getting this. Maybe the person likes to watch scary movies with you or, um, there's something of mystery to this. This is also nighttime. Maybe they're coming in nighttime. Um, bats also use that, you know, they have the hearing. So, they're listening for something. Maybe they're, this person's listening. And it's also vibrations. They feel the vibrations. So, um, you know, they screech and that's like the vibration of that screech that the e echoes or something and that, that's how they know. So they, they're feeling your vibration. They're afraid to come forward. Maybe they don't feel like they can at this time. I also feel like you guys are very connected. You might be really feeling each other. So they're waiting for the opportunity when they can come towards you, when they feel it's right, when they feel that you're okay with it. Okay. Let's see. What about the lovers? Yeah, they want to get a message to you. Oh, and pay. They definitely want to talk to you. This person really wants to talk to you. Okay, let's do the page of wands, which is Aries Leo Sagittarius. This is this person is probably going to send you some kind of message, a love message even maybe with the lovers here. This would be like a text, an email, a phone call, or even a letter. They're thinking about it. They want to do this. They want to communicate. They might be younger than you. We've got two pages here. Um... But yeah, they're, they're, they're really thinking hard about what, how to do this, how to contact you. They really want to talk to you they're really bad. I feel that so intently. This person really wants to make this work. And then you have the page of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They might be coming with a gift, but they are going to come in with an offer. They want to make an offer here. And we have here... Oh, Pegasus. Now, when Pegasus comes in, that means there is a gift coming. This is a real nice card. Oh my God. Pegasus is um things here. It is with Pegasus, it's fast speed, agility, brave, admired but misunderstood in your environment. Expect a tremendous gift, joy, good health, unexpected income, good unexpected news, good for you and your life in general so this could be this person or you might be this might be outside of this person maybe it's just saying that things are going to start changing you're going to get some kind of nice gift coming into you but this person definitely here this is someone trying to get a message to you i i feel their their energy took over this whole reading they this person is wants to be with you so bad they love you so much and they want to make things right and they're going to try their best to do so okay let's see what the word is so, we're going to start with the Knight of Swords. We have here, Committed, the X, see? Will you? Honest. Okay, so this X honestly wants to be in a commitment with you. And they're going to ask you a question, and it's going to be, will you? <laughs> okay, going to start with will you? Okay, page of wands. Why is the page of wands? We have Mary TikTok contact. This person is in a hurry to contact you, running out of time. They want to marry you. The whole reading reads like that. They want this commitment. They want to be it. They want to be with you. That's it. Bottom line. That's all they think about. They want you bad. Okay, now let's do this um, page of pentacles. What's the scoop on this page of pentacles? I'm sorry for those that, you know, this is a general reading, but it's the love took over. Oh, meaning came flying out. Meaning alone. Reunite. Freedom. Hmm. I'm not, okay, someone wants to meet up with you alone to reunite. Maybe they might even say, hey, they, you got the freedom, do what you want. I don't know why freedom's there. Um, the the freedom to meet alone. I don't know. You guys, like I said, rearrange them the way it works for you. 
And let's see what signs we're dealing with. Beautiful reading, though. Someone is so in love with you. They want you so bad. And they're going to do whatever they can to get there. <laughs> they're working really hard at this. It's all about this. Okay, that's all they think about. Because this whole reading is just about this person trying to get in here. But I don't know if you are the emperor, they're the emperor. But you'll know better which way that is. With someone that is wants control or is in control, it'll be different for everyone. Okay, let's see what signs we have. Sagittarius, look at that. You started out right off the bat. And then we have Pisces. Taurus. Virgo, Cancer, and Aquarius. Okay, so this could be placements in your chart, placements in other people's charts, past, present, and future people. So we have Sagittarius, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, and Aquarius. Okay, let's see what letters we have for initials. This would be initials for someone's first name, last name. Get both the first and last name. You know someone's middle name. Get that all the better. Past, present, future, and also your own initials. Let's see. B. W. G. Y. A. D. T. G. Y, V, Z. Okay, so letters we have for each day are B, W, G, Y, A, D, T, G, Y, V, Z. Now, let's see what names we have. What are the names? What are the names that we have here? What are the names? Let's see. And it all clumped together. Okay, let's see what we have. Didn't expect that, but we'll take it. Claudia. Francis. Carly. C-A-R-L-E-E-N. Charlie. Roxanne. This is Soon Suni. It's um S-O-O-N-E-H-R-E-E. -E -E. Okay. Capri, admin, A H M E D. Eight, okay. Okay, three more. We have Janine, J E N E E N. Two more. Let's see. Carmen, and one more. Okay, this is Entria. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this net right. Um, A N T R I A. Okay. So those are the names. All right, guys. Now remember, this is a general reading, not a personal reading. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I hope this resonates for a bunch of you guys because someone is really madly crazy in love with you and they're doing whatever they can to make you change your mind. They want victory here. That they're doing, wow, they're just, this is just someone that has such a deep, deep feelings for you. They just want it all with you. They don't want to live without you anymore. I feel really sad for this person because they just are so deeply in love. Okay, guys. So, um, remember, it's a general reading. Not a personal reading. Takes what resonates. Don't leave what doesn't. Um, please let me know if anything resonates. Please leave comments. I, I hope this resonates with a bunch of you guys. I hope I get a bunch of comments. And, um, I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.